Hello, everybody. How's it going? Welcome back to the live stream. First live stream in a long while. I hope you're doing well. We're gonna check out um, some news today in race room. The new ranked championships that will start soon. Let me get some music going here. Let's see, what do we go for? Some lo-fi, I guess. Here we go. How's that? Might be a bit loud. Welcome, welcome everybody. Captain Coffee, AK, Takafuji, Paul. I hope you're doing good. Oh man, the window. Okay, there it is. Here we are. Make the music a little bit lower in volume. Super professional streamer here. First stream in I don't know how many months. I hope I remember how this all works. Hey, Wolf, Wolfix. Oh, that's Marcus. How are you? Lino, Paul, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, yeah, so you guys probably know already. We have the rank championship starting soon. A new competition in race room. Hey, Scout. Hey, Red. Good to see you guys. It's been a very long time. Hope you're doing good. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, I was gonna explain to you a little bit, not that you guys probably need it, what the ranked championship is all about. You guys probably know already. But yeah, and then we will do some ranked races in multiplayer together. Feel free to join. I think we're aiming for the uh, BMW M2 race that is starting on the hour, so at 7 Swedish time. Evening Shell, how are you? Yves Marie, hey, good evening. Long time no see, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Let's uh, first have a look though at the ranked championships. As the name suggests, it's a championship. Whoa, that was the wrong, uh, wrong key. Super professional streamer here, everybody. <laughs> it's a championship that you can sign up for. And there's three different series in this championship. The M2 Rookie Cup, the GT4, 1234 Amateurs, and the Pro Series with the GT3s. They require different reputation. Reputation is sort of a safety rating. You guys know that already, right? If you drive safely, if you don't have incidents, you will get a high reputation. You start off with uh, without a reputation and then you build it slowly up. That means in the Rookie Cup, everybody can enter. In the GT4 Trophy, you need a reputation of 75. And the Pro Series, you need a reputation of 80. So it's achievable for everyone to enter any of the series, really, because you don't need to be a super fast driver. You just need to have your car under control and don't be involved in too many incidents. How's the sound, guys? Is, uh, is everything coming through OK? The safety, that's the safety car. That's just for, it's not a safety car. The SC stands for uh, super clickbait car. <laughs> hey, VV Racing. Yeah, I'm still here. How are you? <laughs> so as I, as I said, um, everybody can even make it into the GT Pro Series if you want to. You just have to drive safely on the daily rank servers, get a reputation of 80, and then you qualify for it. As in, you are eligible to sign up for it. Um, to sign up for it, you simply go to the link. I put the link in the description as well. It's a competition on the race room portal and you simply select which series you would like to participate in firstly of course making sure you have the reputation needed otherwise your your registration will be disregarded obviously if you don't qualify if you're not eligible then you won't be able you won't be getting an invite so you select it you enter your email address that you associated in race room to see which one that is, I think you can just go to your pro to your profile and go into the account settings. There you can see which email address you use for Racerum. 
It's important that you use that email address and not any other email address, otherwise also your registration will not be valid. So once you've signed up, you will get a confirmation on screen. Thanks for signing up. You will not get an email at that point. You will get an email if you make it to the grid. If um, how many drivers make it on the grid? It's um, 24 per server and we have three servers in every series. Bronze, silver and gold server. So that's 72 drivers per series per round. So the first round, if you sign up for the rookies and you have a high enough rating to be in the top 72 drivers that signed up for the rookie cup, you will get an invitation mail and it will contain all the information which uh, server you will be allowed to join with the server password and so forth. Yeah, um, there's, there's a lot of signups already, so uh, the higher you, your rating, the more the higher your chances are to get invited. Same for all the other series, of course. So three servers per three rounds, that's 216 drivers in total per round. So first round starts in two weeks. And after that round, you have to sign up again for the, for the second round because we don't know if you, if you can keep your uh, reputation, if you're still eligible and so forth. Yeah, we have the BMW M2 Cup, the GT4 Trophy, GT3 Pro Series. I think those are very popular cars. M2 Cup is really fun, good racing in rookies. Then the GT4s, they have a lot of cool cars. And then obviously the GT3 is super popular. There's four rounds, Nürburgring, Spa, Zandvoort and Watkins Glen. The dates and all that you will find also in the rulebook on the competition page. If you just click on rules and regulations then you will get the that information there. An estimation of how much rating is needed. Um, I can't, I, I don't know, but um, there, there's a lot of uh, signups. <laughs> so I don't know. I would say uh, I would recommend aiming for a rating north of 1800 at the bare minimum. Below that, I think chances will be slim. But who knows? It will all depend how many drivers sign up and what's what what their rating is. Yeah, so that's uh, basically it. Um, you can sign up for the first round now. Again, the link to that uh, page is also in the description. And uh, also key fact is that all these servers, if you sign up for the Rookie Cup and you participate in the Rookie Cup, no matter if you're on the bronze server, the silver server, or the gold server, you all collect points in this championship in the same standings. So there's no separate standings for bronze, silver, or gold, or whatso uh, whatsoever. Because obviously you might be on the bronze server this round, but next round maybe you're on the silver server. But the crux of course is that you get more points on the gold server compared to the silver server, and more points on silver compared to bronze. At think there's the points table right here if you want to check it out how's the picture actually looking because my HDR screen probably whites out overexposes some of these white pages but I think it's looking okay yeah so maximum points on gold are 40 points for the win on the silver server you, you get 12 points for the win and on the bronze you get four points for the win And uh, all the races will be live streamed, but of course we will only live stream the uh, the gold server of each series. They will all be live streamed the same day. It's going to be a pretty long stream, about two hours. That's why the races have to be uh, sort of short, otherwise it would be a never-ending stream. <laughs> and there's prizes too. For the top three in each series, you will get a trophy plus VIP prizes. And for all drivers who compete in all rounds, there's also uh, a VRP bonus. I think you get 500 VRPs or something like that, if you compete in all rounds. So that should be hopefully uh, a cool concept. It, I think uh, it's very nice that we are doing a competition in Race Room that is based on the ranking system. It's the first of its kind, to be honest. All the other competitions, you qualify through leaderboards, but this one you actually need to prove yourself in ranked multiplayer which is one of the most popular game modes anyway yeah uh, so we're 
about to jump into the game and will enter the uh, BMW Rookie Cup practice server. I mean, these are races, but uh, they are not the championship races. The championship races are on the 18th of May. But there's daily races, so you can practice the combinations. And yeah, I think we'll head into the game pretty soon. It should the server should start in about five minutes, seven minutes. Hello, Evgeny. Hoping for an update with better VR and VR performance. Um, yeah, uh, I don't think there was any recent changes with VR, but. Um, from what I understand, it runs okay. I mean, there's games that run worse than Race Room in VR. That's uh, great to hear, Whippy, that you come back for the championship. And you still need to raise your rating, yeah. That's also what I need to do. Currently, I am sitting in position 31. It's not too bad. 2092 rating. 97 reputation uh, of course there's uh, yeah many more faster drivers and also what we see here on the screen are only the active drivers um, you, you're considered active if you have done a race in recent days or weeks can't remember the exact time so I'm hoping that I can make it. I'm not actually even sure if I will participate or if I will just uh, watch the live streams with you guys. That could be also fun. But uh, I registered for GT3, uh, but I'm not sure yet if I will actually participate. We will see about that. I'm I'm guessing my chances are okay with 2092 rating, but I'm not 100% sure that I'll make it on the gold server. Gold server has room for 24 people. Obviously, not everybody in front of me has signed up, so we will see. We'll see if I make it. But yeah, the other series sound very fun too. The M2 super fun car, GT4 also very uh, intense racing. I've done a couple of races um, today and yesterday, trying to get back in the groove. It has been so long since my last race. It's been ages and my last stream when was that like the end of last year sometime or even even longer back many many months so let's see if I still know how to do it um, yeah I would say let's jump into the game pretty right here we are need to binge some races yeah you still have uh, um, uh, two weeks ten days something like that this is the uh, page you can click on the image on the main menu to get here you find the rules here in the PDF the standings will be here of course and to sign up you simply click here it will open this uh, Steam browser I don't know if you can see this on stream it's not captured by the by the by OBS, but a Steam browser window will appear where you can register. Uh, yeah. Alternatively, you can scan this QR code here and you can sign up on your phone if that's easier. This on the right, do you see it? My flight gear <laughs> oh no you're talking about the throttle <laughs> is on the right yeah that's that's always good to know right let's head to multiplayer and uh, see if the server spawns in three minutes google docs <laughs> is a temporary solution we hope so too yeah <laughs> It's, it's what we can do at the moment, guys. Uh, of course, this is not the end goal. We, we, we still have much bigger uh, ambitions when it comes to ranked multiplayer and championships and matchmaking, all those things. But um, we'll take a little bit of time to get there. But until then, we do what we can do. 
and I feel sorry for all the people who won't be able to make it. It's only a limited amount of slots available. But at least even now, just going in on the ranked servers um, has a purpose. Um, it will allow you to, to sign up for the championship. And then hopefully win a trophy and get that one sent to your home. Direct X9 is also temporary, yeah. <laughs> Hello, Jan Pfeiffer. You're a pretty fast guy, aren't you? Let's see. Couple of minutes, the server should be there. What else is new? Uh, lots of things. You've seen Interlagos has been teased slash announced the other day on 1st of May, the anniversary of uh, Ayatun Senna's accident. Um, so that is coming pretty soon. Very soon, actually, if all goes well. And WTCR just came out. And we will definitely have a competition running with that at some point as well. It's all already in the plannings. Yeah, the uh, more splits would be fantastic. But unfortunately, uh, right now, everything is, is handled manually by uh, Captain Coffee and his crew, the eSports crew. So it's, uh, it's impossible for, for one person or a couple of people to administrate 100 servers <laughs> and invite 5,000 people. But hopefully we can automate some of these things in the future and then we will get even more people on track racing each other. Yes, as there is, this is actually a step in that direction. Um, by not offering a huge amounts of prize money in this championship and by having as many servers as we possibly can administrate in this championship we're hoping to invite as many people as possible of course it's only gonna be a small percentage of all the people who want to participate and like i said hopefully in the future we will be able to get even more people racing but for now we're doing the maximum that we can Let's see, is the server online? Is it this one? It was supposed to be uh, going online now, but this one is already qualifying. Doesn't matter though. Oh no, wait, there's another one. I just saw. Shall we join this one? I hope it fills up. Let's see. I'm just joining it and then we'll see if it fills up nicely. We have enough time to practice. You're uncertain about the rating splits. What do you mean in particular? Hey Terry, thank you. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for tuning in. So what is this fixed setup, right? So just remove a little bit of fuel. And not much else we can do. Which is always good. Don't have to worry about creating setups. So guys, let me know how this sound is. I know this headset doesn't have the best microphone quality, unfortunately, but I hopefully, hopefully it's good enough. It's fine, yeah, cool. Right on. You can see the motion sim also working in the webcam. Not that it's doing a lot of crazy stuff. But, uh...
Yeah, well, if you already have a high rating, then uh, it's getting more difficult to gain rating. I've, I've seen this uh, myself. Um, today I've done a... Was it... F no, it was GT4 race. Yeah, or a Lotus Evora GT4 race. Came second and lost rating. <laughs> so for me, basically, if I don't win the race, I lose rating. Unless there's super high uh, strength of field. Let's see who is joining tonight. Probably see some fast drivers here. Yeah, but that's just in the... Um, that's just uh, how the rating works, you know. Once you're rated accurately, uh, as high as you have the potential for, then it's gonna be difficult to uh, increase that rating. So you're gonna lose a little bit, gain a little bit, you're gonna hover around that mark unless you do some really bad races. Or you beat some really, really good drivers. Well, I mean, the top, it's not necessarily true. Um, you might lose a little bit of rating, but uh, if you're doing, if you're performing the way you're usually performing, then maybe you, like I said, you win a little bit, you lose a little bit, but it's gonna be pretty much the same at the end of the day. Yeah, the only risk, like I said, is, yeah, if you, if you have a crash to desktop or you're PC catches on fire, that those are things that can always happen, <laughs> then of course that's a risk. But you know, if you have a really good rating or if you rate it accurately, then at that point it's all about having fun anyway, isn't it? And joining races with full service, hopefully. Hey, Ikemax! I have to get used to uh, reading chat and talking and driving again. <laughs> hey, thanks for the subscription, kid. Hey, Mario. How are you doing? Thanks for tuning in, everybody. We have 14 minutes left in qualifying. Feel free to join us on this server. It's the Rookie BMW Europe server. On the Nürburgring. So yeah, pro tip guys, reduce your traction control. Uh, maybe not to zero, but 20%, 15%, that will make you faster, because, of course, the traction control cuts your throttle, and uh, that's not necessarily something you want, if you can keep the car under control with your uh, right foot, that is, then you're better off using as little traction control as possible, but still, of course, as much as necessary. Hey Tom, Sim, thank you, thanks for tuning in. Boy, it's crazy to be uh, live streaming again after so many months of inactivity. <laughs> and to be racing again. I've been taking quite a long time out from racing, guys. Only racing in office hours, during office hours for work. <laughs> Fifteen percent with the Porsche. Yeah, the Porsche is a tricky car in GT4, right? But not necessarily on the um, the traction. I believe isn't the problem. It's more the weight shifting that car does with the engine in the rear. It's very rear heavy, so it's uh, quite tricky to keep it stable.
Let's get rid of the music. Man, this car is so f so much fun, and the racing will be super tight. Don't know about today, but when the championship starts and we have all the uh, top-rated players in one server or oh, spread over three servers, then I think we're gonna see some pretty uh, cool racing. And the races are going to be live streamed on the race room channels with English commentary. So I'm hoping that uh, you guys will all watch it if you're not participating yourself. Anders, thank you. Thanks for tuning in. I know, I know, I'm just cruising right now, Lino. Reading chat and uh, talking. But once we're in qualifying, I'll, I'll get my game face on. Who's the guy behind me? Oh, it's the B. I remember this guy. We've raced on several uh, weekly events. Speaking of weekly events and special events, I think we have one coming up fairly soon. A classic yearly annual reoccurring event. I think you can already guess which one it is. Actually, there's a couple of events that we want to do coming up in real life. Nord 2.4 is definitely one of them. But before that, there's even another one. And you know what's happening at the same day than the Nurburgring 24 hours in real life? The Indy 500. I would love if we made that an event too, since we now have the Indy Oval. Just have to be a little bit creative with the Formula US to make it work in the oval with BOP, etc. Hey, Redick, thank you. It's shaking, Bank 10. Wow. Welcome back. Cruz, thank you, man. Thank you so much. Very kind of you. You've been a really big supporter of the channel, so thanks a lot. Thanks for coming back today, and sorry for not being online <laughs> in the past uh, months. I'll see if I can uh, do more live streams again. If my uh, mental health allows, <laughs> if my... Uh, Mindset is in the right place. Wow, everybody's pushing. I'm just cruising here, guys. <laughs> oh, wow. Was that an off track? Track limits are pretty harsh here. I'm getting blue flags. Yes, I know, I noticed a bit late, but it's only practice here anyway. There's Donos, well, of course. It's YouTube, man. I've been actually thinking about doing this on Twitch instead of YouTube, guys. What do you think? Podium or unsubscribe? Hey, Steven! <laughs> oh man, it's all coming back to me now. Jesus. <laughs> Great to have you all here in the chat, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Really appreciate that. It's not easy um, on YouTube if you take a hiatus for many months and then come back. You have to basically build up the community again from scratch. But luckily, we have some very loyal people here in the community. But yeah, thinking about Twitch, to be honest, guys. I don't know, guys, uh, if you are hanging out on Twitch at all, it's or not. Wow. 
Oops, become I'm fire punch. You. Become fire punch. What's the meaning of this? I'm running out of fuel. Can I make it? Thank you, Lino. Very kind of you as well. Thanks for the support and thanks for all the trailers that you're doing for uh, Race Home, uh in your spare time. I think you're doing a uh, great work. Everybody says that and if you have time again and want to do some more stuff for our events you're more than welcome become fire punch i don't get it i'm too old for these uh, for these memes <laughs> Bushley, thanks for tuning in good to see you good to hear you see you in the chat Well, practice is still five minutes. Let's see. It's a shame that um, it doesn't show you the, the positions here. Not sure why that is. And it's probably because I've been out on track and they joined while I was out there. But yeah, still a bit of room. I think there was another BMW server that was already full. That's why we'll probably not fill this one up right now but uh it's good to see activity in ranked um uh, picking up again especially of course during european peak hours alina is busy making events what's your uh, next event 15th of may what's happening See what's the what's the strength of field? It's 1.78k. That's not too bad. I wonder what the crew chief thinks. What my position should be. What's my expected finishing position? All right, George. We should do really well here. We should be aiming for a win. Aiming for a win. Well, always aiming. Such a cool feature of the crew chief. He's telling you where he expects you to finish according to everybody's rating. Oh yeah, that that one project where you needed the names. Looking forward to see it. Include explosions, Michael Bay style. There's no notes left in the calendar of this ranked championship. Maybe season two. Because obviously we want to make this championship a reoccurring uh, competition. It's a race from its own uh, championship, so we'll we'll try to do it continuously, obviously, if it's if you guys show interest and so far many of you have have shown interest by signing up then i'm uh, pretty sure we will continue to do this one for many seasons to come it's shaking big time <laughs> for asin in next scale the smile 
<laughs> what? <laughs> For us in the next schedule. Wow, okay. You're bribing me. Thank you, Redek. <laughs> you know, you know who you need to bribe? That's Captain Coffee. But Asen is fun, yeah. I haven't done, uh, I don't think I haven't done any online racing there yet, but uh, maybe that will soon change. But I'm really looking forward to Interlagos, guys. Such a beautiful circuit, such a classic circuit, so much history and so much fun to drive as well. I don't know if you uh, know the track well, but you probably do. Would we consider doing more than three splits? Well, we have considered that, but we are uh, doing what our capacity allows us to do at the moment. Since it's all done manually, all the administration, the invitation, the server uh, um, setup, everything is done by pretty much one guy it's or a couple of guys. <laughs> wow. Asen is part of the KCGS3 schedule on the 8th of June. Shameless plug. There you go. Then you need to sign up for that community, that leak. KCG. You guys have a Discord, I assume. You should probably share it on the Race Room Community Race channel on Discord so guys can find it. Okay, I'm uh, what? Two seconds too slow? <laughs> Three seconds? Two seconds. So uh, now we're in qualifying. Now I need to focus, guys. You know, you know the deal. Yeah, I mean, of course, these things can be automated as there is, and that is the plan. Uh, some things are easier to script than others and not just about scheduling a server also need to invite everybody and send out the passwords and setting up all the yeah servers ahead but we'll see how successful this is guys and we will do our best to scale it up as resources allow and hopefully like i said the plan is to l run this at a larger scale in the future but for that to happen we need to develop a few things right on okay oh shit not the best exit Okay, now focus on the fast lap. We have a uh, rolling qualifying, so just have to do one lap. Ah, and already overshot the first corner. I think I'll restart that. <laughs> Back in time attack mode, guys. Hello, apples. Okay, focus now. The ranking system is ever evolving, so yeah, expect definitely more changes coming. But I think the base is pretty solid in terms of how the ranking works, uh, the rating and the reputation. I don't, I wouldn't expect too many changes coming in that regard. But stuff like matchmaking and uh, easier server management and more servers for different splits etc etc it's on the agenda guys I can't, I can't promise these things are going to happen especially not on any given time frame but it's a goal of us all here and we'll do our best to make it happen guys
Is that enough cutting for you now? <laughs> Still room, of course, but we have a purple mid sector. Let's see where this puts us. He won, but probably not for long. Still room for improvement here. So we're running the GP's layout here of the Nurburgring. It's not used too often these days in GT series. They always run the sprint layout. Quarter second down. Let's see what's possible. Oh, the B is seven tenths down. This, maybe I can improve by half a second, but seven tenths? I don't know about that. Oh, I even run out of fuel. I didn't realize. <gasps> yeah, I'll definitely run out of fuel. Yeah, it's already stuttering. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. We yeah, still have time for one time lap, I think. Or maybe not. What's my best lap? 208. Well, okay, we can still make one lap. Miko, thank you. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate that. You guys are very kind. Go. Three tenths in the first few corners. Four tenths, let's go. Come on, five tenths. Need a good chicane, then maybe uh, at least P2. Yes, sir. low still but p2 it is so close man 600s not bad not bad this should be a good race <laughs> the b <laughs> archery is getting better and better frederick thanks good to hear that feedback. Okay, um, the race is 15 minutes long. 
how much fuel are we going to need? Maybe a little bit under. Wait, the race is 15 minutes long, right? How long is the race? You're breaking up, say again, please. I don't think he knows. It's 15 minutes, right? Um. Yeah, whatever. It's a shame that the uh, menu doesn't show you the race length when you need it the most. <laughs> I need to ask the guys to add that. Here we go. Let's send it. Oh man, I didn't mean that. Ah, uh, I was there though. Ah shit. The B, I'm so sorry, mate. So sorry. But I was there. That was unfortunate. Ah oh, shit. <laughs> Guilty. Guilty. Oh man. I'm really, really sorry, mate. The bee. But you, you can tell it wasn't like a malicious uh, thing. I was just on the inside and you... We kind of made contact there. Uh, not the best start, not the best look. <laughs> but... Uh, I don't want to push away blame, but it was kind of a little bit of a racing incident. But of course, yeah, more blame on my side, so I apologize, definitely. <laughs> oh man, racing can be brutal. I'm gonna ban myself. <laughs> See it, guys. Are you looking forward to watch the Formula One later today? It's gonna be on half past ten, right? No, half past nine. So I'm gonna wrap this stream up around nine o'clock, I think. Oh man, Rokus, the B. I'm so sorry, man. Vlad, thank you. Thanks for tuning in. I feel terrible. Even though it wasn't really uh, such a big punt or anything. I was on the inside and he was on the outside and we kind of touched and... I didn't expect him to spin from that to be honest either. I would have thought he could recover from that. But again, not pushing away blame here. Just saying... It wasn't on purpose, for sure. And I don't feel I don't feel like I've done something super out of the ordinary here. I was taking the inside line. And we touched. Shit happens and yeah. I can only say sorry one more time. Time to move on. Barrier is ahead of us. Barrier ahead of us has 1.7k rating. I can see that on my um, outer hut. It's 
so we should be able to get this guy. Even though he is pretty quick. I think he has definitely a lot more potential to gain rating. Another one sending it. I had to open up, otherwise, he would have run into me. Whoa! Aggressive, aggressive. Talk about a dive bomb. But, yeah, not that much of a bomb, to be honest. More like a well executed overtake. <laughs> but if I had not looked in my mirrors, that could have ended badly. So, there's always two involved. already gained eight positions back well good good on him if he um, closes in on me I'll let him pass but we'll see if that happens oh, shit boy you overtook me now don't block me welcome back Lino you didn't miss anything, nothing happened in turn one. <laughs> wow, side by side with that chicken. Ooh, more contact. aggressive man and the guy from behind is pushing too Jesus I have to get my elbows out here not a bump <laughs> but nothing too crazy okay now he had the better line there Whoa, tough racing. I think we can forget about P1. I'm getting too involved here. Definitely faster than this guy. Need to find a place to overtake him. How many hours do I have in the race room? Well, like, I don't know how many hours on the death build, but uh, <laughs> on the life build. I think you can just see that on Steam, can't you? I think it's something like 2000 hours. Probably more. Twenty K. <laughs> if you count the death build, maybe, yeah. Count all the time I'm spending during work in race room since 2013 or something.
two DNFs, one DQ. Trying to make him nervous. He's holding me up for sure. Bunch of us, actually. was a long time coming. Let's stay ahead now. The overlay I'm using is called Otter Hut. I think there might actually be a link in the description. Oh man. This guy's driving very aggressively, overtaking in spots where you shouldn't, but... Fun racing, though. <laughs> Can't leave any gaps here. Can't leave any gaps open. Somebody will dive. <laughs> Can hear Louis screaming over this. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the live streams. Bonk motorsport. Literally. problems in the section leading up to that corner. Overtook him here again. And he's gonna dive back two corners later probably. P1 is definitely gone. Two minutes left. That's two laps. Maybe one lap to go actually. I'm trying to get not too many off tracks either. But man, this guy behind, um, I have a feeling he will just run into me at some point. But you know, that happens. I run into people sometimes. <laughs> uh. There was no contact there though. And I got an off, I slow down for going off track here. He did lose him, lose it on himself there though, I don't think I've touched him and if I did then I wasn't uh, in a bad way. That was definitely a little bit over the limit, that kind of driving. Yeah. Little hit check, no, there was no nothing. <laughs> I would have felt that.
But you can see what kind of racing you can expect in the M2 Cup. It's gonna be an interesting championship for sure. I think most people have signed up for the M2 Cup, obviously because most people are allowed to sign up for that one. There's less people in GT3 and less in GT4. Is that final corner or do we have one more lap to go? It's over. Man, Bibi, I'm so sorry, but you managed to finish P9 in the end. It was just... Yeah. What can I say? Maybe not the best way to start a race. The B. I hope he forgives me. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Hope you enjoyed that. Let's see what we'll do next. We can check out the results first and foremost. I hope I didn't cast the B too much rating. <laughs> Yeah, no, and I, I don't think the the accident, the incident was one of the, um, it wasn't the worst incident ever, but still unfortunate, sorry. <laughs> All right, gained 1.7 rating, that's actually uh, quite a bit for uh, what I'm used to getting, but that's because the grid is so big, was so big. I want to see the, the B, the B, the B, where is he? It's not showing up here. Is that possible? Did I click on the right race? Oh, that's actually, I, I raced it earlier this afternoon. Sorry, that was the wrong wrong race it hasn't updated yet you can uh, you can press ctrl r to refresh guys if you didn't know 1.3 that's also not bad this was a regular ranked race yeah there he is oh minus eight for ruckus ah he still has more than 2000 it's all good still in the 2k club <laughs> so you have these regular ranked races every day, right? You know that the schedule is changing every two weeks at the moment. And you can use these races to rank up. Let's see, GT3. Yes, let's do that. What should we drive? I think we're gonna have to go with the Ferrari, guys. Ferrari in race from boys. We haven't celebrated that yet on on the on the live stream. And I know it's only two liveries for the moment in DTM, but there's more coming, guys. Some really beautiful customer racing liveries. If we manage to get them all approved by by everyone. Yes, Lino, it is. HyperX Cloud 2. Wireless. I'm, I, I like this headset, but I'm not too happy about the mic quality, to be honest with you. Hey, Zero Force Racing. What's up? You haven't been sim racing in months? Well, join the club. <laughs> but, uh,. We always go back to it eventually, don't we? 
started from pit lane by mistake. At least it got going eventually, right? Yeah, I want to get a separate mic too. If you have any recommendations, one that doesn't break the bank, and uh, I need a I need a microphone that um, doesn't pick up too much of the motion sim behind me, and not too much of the clickety clackety of the steering wheel. Ideally, probably on an arm that I can position well. Don't know, don't know. I first have to think about doing more live streams, otherwise there's no point. <laughs> All right, default setup. Traction control 5. Let's see how this Ferrari drives. We're again on the Nürburgring because of course it's the championship track. I think the uh, championship combinations will always be on the daily schedule. I think that makes sense. So you can practice for the championship race, get used to the combination, learn the track. 43 euros, that's really cheap. And you're saying it's it's okay for the price? I mean, for that price, you can't go wrong, actually. Thanks, Apples. Apples. Appreciate that. Hope to see more Turkish drivers in the future. You have uh, one really quick guy, right? Is it Amri Cihan? He's Turkish, isn't he? I mean, I haven't heard any complaints today about the sound quality, guys, so... I would, of course, prefer without more hardware in my face here, but um, there's definitely quality to be gained here with a better microphone. I'm seeing a lot of Ferraris. Mm. I think it is it is a fairly quick car out of the out of the box. Has a good default setup. And it really drives well. Usually I'm not a big fan of the mid-engine cars, because there's a lot of turning overs there usually, but the Ferrari is really manageable. Glad you're liking the FFP Apples. Big shout out to Thomas Jensen and Alex Hutchinson, our physics guys. And of course Robert Holm for the code part. So are you running that microphone on any uh, sort of preamp or anything? Or is it just straight USB you said, right? I like uncomplicated things. I have enough to set up every time I want to go live.
What time is it? Eight o'clock? I think I'll be live until around nine. Then I need to go watch the F1 in Miami. Ferrari is looking strong again this weekend. But I think Red Bull has really good race pace and should never write off Max Verstappen. Kind of a interesting circuit they're running there in Miami. Reminds me a little bit of Jeddah actually. It's a lot of Amcos close to the road. And not to mention the artificial water. Yeah, I'm, I'm also not a big fan. I mean, I'm mean a huge fan of the old classic circuits. You know, Spa, Silverstone, Emola, or any of the, you know, classic road circuits like even Portimao. Portimao is a super fun track. But these sort of city, marina type tracks, not a big fan. But doesn't matter, doesn't mean the racing can't be good. Jeddah is meh. Yeah, well, yeah. I, I wouldn't even recognize it. But the, ra the race was kind of crazy, wasn't it? <laughs> it was bit too crazy but super entertaining last year in total was such drama filled spectacle insane how can you even top a season like that well I guess the one way to top it would be a Ferrari is champion at the end of the year and it's looking like they will fight with Red Bull for the championship for sure Red Bull is definitely up there well they even won last race didn't they the aggressive guy came as well yeah I don't want to be too harsh on people today after uh, hitting somebody in turn one. <laughs> but um, I don't want to be too harsh on myself either. It was it was a racing incident with a little bit more blame on my side for sure. man apples that's you where you at haven't set a time yet have you seen you on the in-game chat well a little bit of controversy is part of the fourth uh, formula one isn't it of racing It'd be boring otherwise but yeah, definitely some uh, questionable decisions uh, on the side of the uh, racing stewards last last season. But man, I loved it though. Watching it live, the, the finale was woo, goosebumps. I mean, that's why we love Formula One, isn't it? Bump and run. <laughs> Come on, guys, don't be mean. 
always trying to be fair. <laughs> Two minutes left in practice. I thought the whole, se the whole last season was exciting. A couple of races were boring, but you always have that, right? So let's see, how much do we have to improve? Oh, four seconds. Holy sh... Four seconds. Okay, I mean, I know I'm just cruising, as before, and we were fighting for pole position last time. This time I have a feeling it might be a little bit more difficult. Love to see all these names. Japanese guy, Canadian guy, Norwegian, what's that? Slovenia, right? Or Slovakia, always confuse those. That's the Germans. Check. Finish. Terry Sand. Oh, that, that's an American guy. That's well, nice. Was in some eSport block. Oof. How would I rate the Porsche at the moment? To be honest, I've been I've been out of the loop. I haven't been driving in uh, months, like seriously, in in the live build. Only been driving. Uh, in the developer's build. So I, I can't really say. But we are trying to make a BOP for the ranked championship. Which is gonna be difficult as always. And it's not gonna be perfect as always. Is that is that scene switcher working by the way? I have a feeling it's showing an awful lot of the rear camera. Instead of the front cam. might be me yeah we're trying to get a BOP um, up for this championship if time permits hey Manolo thank you Japanese dude in front wow The uh, registration closes on some days before the race. The race is on Wednesday and on Sunday it closes. So that's May 15th. And the race is on May 18th. Make sure you read the uh, rule book. It's on the competition page linked in the description. So we get a BMW head of Ferrari head of Corvette. A McLaren. Nice. Oh yeah, and the GT3 Pro series in the championship has a limited amount of selection in GT3. You can't drive the uh, the Mustang and the Camaros. It's limited to the current gen cars. And so is the server if I'm not mistaken. Okay, focus. It's important to get a maybe starting position in the top five. Top ten at the very minimum, hopefully. Woo. That was a little bit too much. Should probably cancel this lap and start over. To save time, but let's get a safety lap in.
I don't think I've ever driven the Ferrari in an online race yet. Let's see what I can achieve with this car. Yeah, tire temps are a factor too. They're looking pretty okay though. Everything's green, isn't it? is so important can lose a lot of time here ah, it's a little bit slidey when you push too hard into the corner okay we're not that far off definitely room for improvement though like it's a bit too harsh here the cut rules five minutes Slow in, fast out. Or fast in, fast out. Even better. Come on. Sliding to that corner. Let's try one more lap. Jesus, P6. Nay, nay, nay. Push it too hard. I need to be smoother. This car has a lot of rotation. It's fast when you know how to use it. 
but it can bite you real quick. All right. Getting somewhere, but not fantastic. That's it. No more time. B6. Potential for yeah, P3 is there, only three tenths behind. I think Mosin and Hölzl. Hölzl, I remember that name. He was always super fast in the ranked, wasn't he? Yeah, let's let's aim for P5 or top five result. What position do you expect me to finish? What position do you expect me to finish? Crew chief, hello. You awake, mate? Probably the wrong voice command. What's my expected finishing position? Okay, George, we should be competitive here. We're aiming for around P2. He's over, uh, over evaluating me. Something in the top 25 would be nice. <laughs> well, got a full server, guys. 32 people. Ahead of the B. Oh, man. I hope I hope we don't touch in turn one. Okay. This is, again, 15 minutes race, or... <laughs> I think. So... I don't know. 40 liters? Should be enough. not the B was it? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, that was the B on the inside coming through. Oh boy. I got a real nice bump there, mate. I caught it, cut off easily, lost it there too. That's how it goes sometimes. We're still in this, boys. And they touch. <laughs> We're still alive. Let's see where we can go. 
top five would be nice. Intense, intense. Rokus in pit. Oh, what happened? Have you seen what happened? Pretty edgy to drive though, compared to like a front engine car. I'm not big on these mid engine cars. Ferrari is pretty popular though. Maybe we should run a fixed Ferrari 488 Cup. I hear it's quite popular in iRacing. Once we have more liveries, that is. Oh god. Looked like the Corvette tried to dive bomb there. Ooh, the battle for the podium positions is on ahead of us. Let's see if we can benefit from this battling going on here. faster but not fast enough to overtake anywhere here love to see the sparks flying oh my god that Corvette became huge in my mirrors did you guys see that I thought I was done for I can't even see where I'm going. <laughs> Come on, make a mistake. No? Not this lap? Damn, if that wasn't an AI, AI, I would have sent it. But can't do that in multiplayer. <laughs> Don't you hate it? Driving against other humans, <laughs> having to be all respectful and shit. Joking, of course.
There's a mistake. Oh, and I made a mistake too. Big moment. Damn. I had to go for that one. Woo. Intense, intense. Mamma mia. Yeah, of course. Just waiting for the dive bump here. <laughs> P7, not super happy. Let's see if something still happens ahead of us. It's a uh, Thrustmaster SF1000, the formula wheel with the display. It was uh, sent to the studio by Thrustmaster. And it's sitting on a, a TSPC Racer wheelbase. Very nice wheel. Looking forward to see uh, what Trustmaster has in store for their direct drive wheelbase. Might be worth upgrading. Careful on turn in with this car. Not the most planted over the curbs either. Yeah, what I'm uh, looking forward to see the most with the Trustmaster direct drive wheelbase is the quick release, to be honest. It's supposed to be uh, retro uh, supporting all the wheels, so I'm curious to see what they're doing, because obviously these old wheels, they all have these uh, plastic connections, so will be interesting. There's probably some kind of adapter, I guess. Oops, somebody went off. That was Schwartz. V6. Yeah, upgrading to uh, Dark Drive from a DFGT, that's quite the upgrade. <laughs> You're skipping a lot of steps in between there. But uh, you got the budget for the Dark Drive, then I'm sure it's gonna be worth it.
Whoa, we got a 1.9 strength of field here. That is quite high. Might not lose too much rating, hopefully. Well, two minutes to go. If nothing crazy happens in front, I don't think we'll woo, gain any more positions. Probably have to watch out not to lose another position. Last lap. Do we have time for another race? After this one, maybe a short one. Maybe we'll join the quali somewhere. But around 9 p.m. I'm gonna be done here. I like this Ferrari, but am I going to drive it in the championship? If I'm going to drive the championship? I don't know. I don't know. I need somebody to make me a good setup. No matter what car I'm driving. <laughs> Well, well, it was a pretty intense race, those fast, the first, first few laps, not the best result, B6. Wow. Phew. Yeah, I have a feeling the scene switcher in OBS isn't working as intended. Not that you guys mind, probably, but I do. It's supposed to switch to the rear camera every five minutes for one minute, but it seems it gets stuck in this rear camera. I think I'm gonna disable that for now. Anywho, let's see. Um, what the results say and maybe we'll do one more quick lap without the full practice if possible um, that was the wrong tap and it's you Oof. I don't know That's a usually a lot of contacts in NSU. Let's give it another second to show up.
Control R to refresh. Still not here. Let's have a look what's happening in multiplayer. What's in quality? Nova Green GT4, but it's full. Can I join by luck? Not in the Porsche. No, it's full. Anything else? Everything else is in practice. WTCR, man, I need to uh, practice in more in these cars. I can't just hop into a quality session in the WTCRs. Rough races, yeah, me too, kind of. Let's see, is the result here now? Yes. Whoa, I still managed to get the rating from that. Even if it's only half a point. From P6, nice. I guess the guys ahead all are very high ranked players. Lost one point of reputation though, but still in the 96 reputation, so easy. Yeah, I don't know. I still have one race in me. Not sure which one though. I don't want to do a full practice session. WTCR. This one is filling up right now, GT4 Hockenheim. That's 10 minutes practice, 10 minutes 20. Yeah, I think we can do it. Let's do it. GT4. I'm just gonna. Oh, this is the Lotus server. This is on the Hockenheim National Track layout, if I'm not mistaken. Let's give it a go. I know I've seen you guys with the NSUs, but I haven't seen a server that was uh, populated and that didn't have a full practice session yet. I want to be ending the stream in about 40 minutes so we don't miss the F1 guys. So we'll do this Lotus race, but it should be fun. It's the Lotus from GT4 in a single make server doing the Hockenheim national layout is it fixed setup too yes that's easy easy to do easy to, to jump in and drive Last 21 in rating. Yeah. There is different stages that you go through in rating, right? When, you're, when your rating isn't too high or not too accurate, to put it this way, then uh, the gains and losses are higher than when you already topped out your potential. Unless you do really bad. If I uh, finish last on a rookie server, I get I get huge losses. <laughs> but that's usually not happening. Terry, are you in the US? What time is it there? I've seen your uh, flag earlier on the results, if I'm not mistaken. Then you're American, right? How's the ping also? I feel like you're managed, right? Whoopsie. Whoa. <laughs> Don't break in the corner. Break before the corner.
Mm hmm. Track limits. Oh, 2 p.m. Well, that's not too bad on a Sunday, is it? 2 a.m. would be worse. Of course, on, on weekdays, you're probably uh, not so lucky then. But weekends are okay. Hey, race games. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks who's still, everybody who's still watching. We've had uh, quite a few races, intense races. Don't think we have moved anywhere with the rating, really, compared to before the stream. But I mean, I don't know how people get 2300 rating that's insane mate how do they do that how many races i uh, think I've, i remember the guy has done 800 races who's currently leading in the rankings i've done 200 so yeah you can still grind your way up especially if you're doing uh races uh, with a lot of people with big grids and uh, in a class where you can easily win any time you can still grow your rating but it is getting tough That's a good, good reputation you've got there. And room for improvement on the rating. <laughs> oi, 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 oi. You got dirt pick up on your left side tires. This Lotus is such a fun car. It is really easy to drive. Handles really well. I think that guy in the gravel disagrees, but... <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, Black Knight. Whoa! That was my fault, watching the chat. <laughs> Shifting down to second gear. It's a bit on the understeery side, in default setup. Which is a good default setup, to be honest. 
it's very manageable. Let's see if we can set a lap time here. Still haven't. Got purple sectors on my hut. Oh, I messed up that one. That's a good attitude to have, Takafuji. Whoa! Right, quality is about to start. Most important is to have fun, anyways. But it's every time I do online racing, I try to remember it's all about having fun. But I get I get competitive. I think you, you guys know probably what I'm talking about. But as long as you're not trying too hard and it stays fun, that's the most important thing. Okay, rolling qualifying. That means we're just doing one lap, maybe two. Okay, full focus. Not good. Sideways through turn one. I can feel I'm getting tired. But we managed P1 in practice, so hopefully we'll do similar in qualifying. Track limits, very close. Managed to stay on the curb with two tires. Ah, oh, same here. <laughs> Had to lift a little bit though. Can we stay in third gear here? Probably best, yeah. also a little bit a little bit too harsh I feel like I feel like that was a normal line there going wide over that curb but now we know we need to keep it a bit tighter here That was already an improvement, not drifting to turn one. Yeah, I see that belt.
which is a little bit of an unnatural line to be honest but you know at least it's consistent with track rules it's a line that some may consider to be unnatural as the emperor would say sideways again little lift on the exit and now am I running out of fuel now felt like the engine was losing power okay safety lap is in Now, can we improve it? Half a second. Hmm. I hope I have enough fuel to finish this lap. Oh no, that was bad. Yeah, no, that wasn't good. Last two laps. Last lap. Hey, Crispy Bacon, thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Appreciate that. Oh, no. I knew that was too much. Last try, come on. That was just within the limits. Come on. Purple sector one. Good exit. Yes, 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 good lap. Good lap. Not good enough for pole though. Close. Calculate fuel for 17 minutes. We don't have the data. Oh, shut it. 50 minutes race, yes. How long's the lap? 130. So yeah. Something like that, 24 liters. Can't wait to watch the F1 very soon P2 
P2, Lambrecht P1. Not a full server. Let's go. <clears throat> Last race of the evening. Hopefully it will be, will be a good one. Thanks, Applelis. Probably not pronouncing your name right, but... Here we go. <laughs> Just survive turn one. Take it from there. No. Oh no! Damn, what was that? <laughs> I got lucky there. One split second later, and uh, he would have hit me full on. Oof. P1 seems quick. Let's see if we can give him a run for his money. Staying in slipstream. You think it was a stalker? <laughs> Trying to kill me? Should stop driving on the grass there. <laughs> Not good for the tires. Damn, this guy's quick. Thanks for tuning in to my channel, dude. Hope you enjoy your stay. Leave a like and subscribe if you do. Not pulling away too much though. Still within one second. He did the fastest lap of the race though. I had a purple last sector though. Come on, let's push. Johnny, how are you? Thanks for tuning in. Oh, 
Oh yeah, it's easy to break too late for that corner. I've done that before. The chance is alive, guys. Chance is alive. Fastest left of the race. Are you nervous yet, Lambrecht? Yes, he is. That was just a minor mistake, though. I think this is the best op overtaking opportunity of the track here. Ah, he's looking in his mirrors. He seems like a fair driver, or he's cutting into me though. This should be a good battle. Already is. It's wicked. Thank you. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate everyone watching. Hope you enjoy the racing. Hope I could uh, give you some information about the ranked championships coming up in two weeks, ten days. I hope you'll try to qualify or signing up, I should say. And maybe we'll see some of you on track. Wow, B3 is getting into the picture. Where did he come from? Oh my god! <laughs> that looks close. Oh shit, boy! This is getting even more interesting now. Eight minutes to go. GT4 had great racing. Oh, damn! Cold Brown. Oh, that was scary. I did not see that at all <laughs> coming my way. Oops. There he goes. Now I have some catching up to do. And some defending too, looks like. Ah, Kulas. You cost me the victory. Spend too much time here. And this fight. Oh, where did he go? The B is coming now on P3. Wow. I need to push 
like crazy. We want to close that gap. Two seconds in six minutes. I don't know if that's possible. Maybe if he makes a small mistake. Woo! Touch the gravel there a little bit. The left front is overheating. But I think that's the same for everybody. Oh! Understeer. Yeah, almost was like the Super GT accident. Except no leader was doing this on purpose. Still two seconds. I need this guy to make a mistake. Maybe another back marker <laughs> could do something for me. Probably not, probably not. What's the rating of Lambrecht? That's 2.02k. That's good. Slightly less than me, but still quite high. So I might still actually gain a little bit of rating but it's not the biggest grit 25 actually it's not bad how much reckon will i gain from this i'm gonna guess 0 0.5 <laughs> or 0 0.7 it's quite a big grit strength of field 1.8 But let's bring it over the finish line. Oh, well, it's not secure, secure. If I lose concentration, which I tend to do in these situations, where I feel too safe, then I make one silly mistake, and that's P2 gone. But let's not do that. Two more laps. Oh, that's the B. Should I do him a favor and let him pass for the for the P1 uh, turn one incident at the Nurburgring? I might do that last lap. Even though I'm sure he's not he's not salty about it, but that makes me feel better. <laughs> <laughs> I said that if he closes up to me, I would let him pass, so now I've got the opportunity. <laughs> Yeah, the left front is suffering massively. Hey, if I, if I don't let him pass on purpose soon, then he will pass me anyway. If I don't keep pushing. 
So let's push one more lap. Oh, you went into the grass. Fastest lap is still mine, but that doesn't buy me anything. No, don't tell me he's running out of fuel, the bee. He lost a massive bit of time there. I don't know why. That's for the Nurburgring. Ah, <laughs> oh, good stuff, guys. Thanks, Johnny. Hi, Prince. I think B got the message. That's good. I think this will wrap it up, boys and girls. Let's uh, check the rating. Last thing. We can also check where we were at before we started today's stream and if we improved at all or if we. I oh, lost 0.35. Yeah, that's, that's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> the B gained three points. Not as much as he lost in the Noble Ring, but uh, at least it's something. <laughs> so the first race we did was this one here. Yeah, I think we came out with a net positive plus one. 0.3 plus 0.4 minus 0.3 so yeah a lot of work for one point of rating one evening's worth of work <laughs> but yeah that will be it guys thanks for watching thanks for tuning in thanks for watching till the end thanks for liking subscribing thanks for the guys who have uh, donated today you guys are the best appreciate the support hope you all uh, will try and sign up for the ranked championship and good luck with making it on one of the grids bronze silver or or gold in your series make sure you rank up in the daily races to improve your chances and if you don't make it make sure to tune in to the live stream on the may 18th it will be a wednesday We'll have English commentary for you, if all goes well. Hopefully, it uh, 
it all goes according to plan more streaming yeah Oof, man every time i stream i remember that it actually is fun but i've got my head so full of um work stuff <laughs> that it's it's hard to keep keep a mindset that allows me to enjoy racing after work but today was definitely fun and uh, i really want to thank you all for tuning in after me being uh, offline for so many months <laughs> and yeah it will definitely not have been the last stream i don't know how how long it will be until the next one hopefully not too long appreciate y'all have a nice evening take care goodbye